You want this for yourself, so you gotta put in the work. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And if you're new, thanks for stopping by. Hi, I'm Andrea. So today I will be doing a little chit chat, get ready with me, but I'm supposed to be ready for like 8, 8.30 and it's now 6.24, I gotta do my hair, makeup, and I still don't know what I'm wearing. Like I have a cargo pants that I wanna wear cause like I've only worn it like once in my life, but I don't have like any other pieces. So I probably will just exclude that and you guys will just be here for the hair and makeup, which is why, <sighs> excuse me, you guys, like I ain't gonna lie. I started my long journey all like hopeful and stuff watch all the videos where people are like the beginning few months are like rough or whatever but you just gotta stick it through but y'all it's like when they say you're never really prepared for marriage or you're never really prepared for a baby I was never really prepared for this lock journey like don't get me wrong I love it and I'm excited to see what my hair looks like when it's like fully locked like I have some in the center that are actually like pretty locked like you can call it a lock versus like these in the front where it's like it's partial lock and then twist still and i'm on month four i made month four last week yeah my birthday was month four so that was cute right on my birthday i made another month in this little lock journey but now i'm just like moisturizing it because it's been out all day and it's probably just like super super dry but also you guys i'm going to um a professional loctician on Monday I'm super excited but also super nervous because I have some locks that came out like this is what I mean by like you're never prepared because people told me they were unraveling but I thought it was gonna be like unraveling the first two three weeks four months and this lock just said no babes like it's completely loose here I'm not even gonna twist it back I'm just gonna leave it so that the loctician can do what she does because I've been retwisting some and they keep coming out so maybe i'm just not doing it right but yeah and then there's also like some not this one but like hold on let me see if i can find there's some like this that has like a lot of new growth like from here to here is new growth and i don't know if you guys can see this but my last retwist was a month ago and I was trying to aim to retwist my hair every like four to six weeks between that so that I wasn't like manipulating my hair too much. But babes, I, I think I'm going to have to do like every four weeks because this is crazy. But um, I think I'm going to do like two top knots and then my little ponytails that I do all the time. My little, uh, little two bangs that I do all the time, not ponytail. But yeah, that's like the easiest thing to do. And what I have been surprised about with like doing locks is that I really am loving the hairstyles. Like before, if I were doing these hairstyles or if like somebody told me to do the hairstyles I'm doing now, I would be like, ew, that's so childish. But here I am doing them and loving them. Like they're my go-to. So I'm actually super happy with like how I'm loving my hair because that was like the point of me even going through a lock journey. I wanted to, um, like I wanted to stay natural. I wanted to fall in love with my hair, but I didn't want to have to keep up with like, with naturals they have like precondition, condition, shampoo, condition again, and then you dry and then you twist. I couldn't maintain all that. I couldn't, and plus my hair was never working with me with all of that. So I was like, I want to stay natural, but how could I stay natural without having to do all of that? And then I was just like, you know what? do locks i've actually been trying to um lock my hair since like 2019 but like i was always scared of like the ugly phase but this right now <laughs> but then i was just like forget it like there's no better time than now like i'm barely in school because if my classes are online like we're in person and i'm wearing a mask so no one really knows it's me like they know it's me but it's like they don't know it's me so it's like you know I was like, just do it now. It's so like when I'm in my mid 20s, late 30s, I'm like a bad B with locked hair. You feel me? So, yeah. But other than that, I didn't really plan what I was going to talk about for this chit chat. Get ready with me. I kind of just wanted to like talk to somebody while doing my makeup. But like, all my friends be busy. And I'd be scared to call them because then I'd be like, dang, am I interrupting something? You feel me? So, I was like, you know what? I can just do a little chit chat. Get ready with me. And plus, I've been seeing it a lot on um, YouTube and TikTok. 
so it's kind of just been like stuck in my head oh but speaking of tiktok um the trend that's going on tiktok that i absolutely absolutely love right now is the that girl tiktok like you know you know like the that girl and like she's cleaning her house she's going to the gym she's eating her veggies she's like going on dates like she's just living her best life and ever since that tiktok trend started i'm always like so how could i be that girl you know and of course being me i went on youtube <laughs> to kind of like I'm going to be using the 24 hour edge tamer by Eben. I feel like Eben is, um, oh goodness. I feel like Eben is taking over because I started using their hairspray for like my wigs and it's way better, like way better than got to be. And I feel like I'm reaching for that more than got to be, to be honest. So Eben, I don't know where you've been all my life. You probably was here this whole time. But babes, I'm so sorry I slept on you. I went on YouTube and I started watching these videos of these girls talking about like how to be that girl. But you know, YouTube, they always kind of like, it's realistic for them, but not realistic for me. So, so then I started um, just like thinking, like if being or becoming that girl is me being the best version of myself, what part of me do I need to improve and what part of me needs work on working on we're just gonna ignore grammar because like I said I'm in a rush and yeah I got like less an hour to get ready um but yeah what parts of me need working on for me to like become the best version of myself and since I asked myself that question it's like a whole floodgates of of like self-awareness came through also like backstory i feel like i did a chit chat get ready with me like earlier not this year but like um this semester like back in september and i feel like i mentioned like therapy but like i was going to therapy to try and become better but then i realized that like it wasn't working for me you know and sometimes it could be it could be the therapist it could be me or it just could be like i need a different form of like self-care slash healing you know so I forgot the point I was making with this oh yeah so when I was trying to become that girl I was like trying to figure out um like the parts of me that needed healing and stuff Whew. look at that look at that you guys nice and slick like oof, love that for me um See, my train of thought is terrible. This is also probably why I should not do chit chat get ready with me is because like I will always continually forget the point that I'm trying to make. Like, oh my goodness. So yeah, since I stopped with the like uh with the therapy and stuff, I had to like be accountable for me, you know? Like I had to do stuff and really be like, all right, Andrea, you kinda messed up there or like you're repeating bad behaviors or um you're repeating just stuff old toxic me would do that i am no longer trying to do because like i said i'm trying to become that girl and then in addition to that i also just realized that like i make a lot of excuses for myself and a lot of those times i would uh, blame like my depression or my anxiety but it's like no girl sometimes it's just you so it's like when I'm like being inconsistent or on YouTube I would be like oh you know school's taking up my time and like I'm tired or like I don't feel like doing my makeup right now to go film a YouTube video but it's like girl you know back when like COVID hit like I would do videos without makeup like I would be doing videos when I had less space in the house to even do videos and stuff like that you know so like me now blaming all my circumstances on the reason why i'm not uploading content is like me making excuses for myself and i realized that if i wanted to be that girl i had to really set, sit back and tell myself like girl you're making excuses like do you really want this or no and that right there was exactly what i needed so like i and keep in mind this is this is my opinion this is based on my experiences i'm no in no way telling you guys to like quit therapy if you're going to therapy or like 
be mean to yourself because I'm basically being mean to myself. But I'm just like explaining to you guys how I'm taking on this trend for myself. And of course, there's going to be one piece of hair that wants to stick out. <sighs> okay, but see, now I'm deciding whether I want like the ponytail or the bun. Because like if I'm going with the cargo pants, like I'm trying to go like nice and simple. But at the same time, I'm like, I kind of want to put, look put together. Hmm. Hmm. I think we're just going to go with the bun because I already did this. And we're not going to make it go to waste. Uh, tomorrow we can keep it out. <laughs> but yeah, so accountability for me was a big point or a big part in me becoming that girl. So in addition to that... I also realized the reason why I didn't have accountability was because I really did not have discipline. And I'm not talking about discipline as in like the hard love discipline that our parents gave us when I was, when we were little, but I'm talking discipline as in like if I miss one day of filming, then that one day turns into a week and then that one week turns into a month, you know, like I didn't have it in me to be like, all right, no girl, we missed a day, but let's get back on it. Or like, and the same thing goes for like the gym too. Like I will find myself missing like three, four days of the gym. And it's like, I'm only going four to five days of the week. So it's like, you know, so I've really been trying to, um, we're going to just quickly retwist these because like I said, I want to look put together. <laughs> I've been really trying to just, um, implement discipline in my life so I set my alarm for like 6 a.m. for every day even the weekends because like I said for me it's like if I miss one day that will start the bad behaviors and don't get me wrong like I have like turned off the alarm and been like nah I ain't waking up at 6 a.m. today but part of the discipline is to make sure that that doesn't continue for me <laughs> that was so New York um so it's like, I um, I put a new lock screen on my phone. Um, I don't know if you guys will be able to uh, see it. Ooh. Nope. Well, it says 2020, 2022 will be a rich girl year and a happy girl year for me. I'm claiming it. So that right there, I just put it as my lock screen as a sort of reminder that like, you want this for yourself, so you got to put in the work. Because a lot of people, even me, like, we think that just because we want it, it's going to come for us. But, like, the Bible says, faith, faith without works is dead. Y'all haven't been to church in a minute, so. But, yeah, it says faith without works is dead. And that also applies to life. Like, you can't just believe that you're going to have this great life. Like, you're going to get a bunch of money. You're going to get the body you want. You're going to eat. You're going to do all these little habits that you, that you want for you to have a better life. But then don't put any work towards it. So. My birthday was last week. I turned 22. I was like, girl, this is your year. Because 21 was trash. 20 was also trash. We're not going to keep that trend going with 22. This is where the discipline is going to kick in so that I can um, live the life I know that I deserve. And I'm going to keep this like in this little back button while I'm doing my hair because it kind of helps it stretch so that it can get like the length. I be cheating but um yeah so I've been making these baby steps to like let go of my past self or not let go of my past self but like acknowledge the mistakes that I made when I was 2021 20, and then also kind of like see where where I messed up and how I can be better moving forward I'm trying to be lazy and see if my beauty blender is damp enough for me to have to not for me to not have to get up and go dampen it, but I think it's good. Or I might just do a full uh, brush. This makeup look, what time is it? Oh, all right, 6.40. I think, I think we can, we can make a little something shake. Sorry guys, I had to go do my eyebrows um, because I knew if I was like talking and doing my eyebrows, I would be here for a minute. So back to what I was saying, um, which I actually don't remember what we're saying. So I'm gonna, I'm going to start a new point, but it might be the point that I was making before. If it was, I'm sorry, y'all. But um, 
yeah for me to become that girl i had to really make a lot of changes in my life and i also had to give myself a lot of grace like for me i don't know what it is about me like i know i'm not perfect i know i don't have the means to be perfect i know i don't have to be perfect but for me it's like i want to do something and be perfect at it right away so when i was like i want to become that girl i want to make all these changes um i had to like sit myself down and be like all right babes we want to be better but what happens on those days when we don't have the energy to be better or life just doesn't work in our favor to be better you know what i mean i no, and you guys like i really be having conversations with myself like it's so funny but it passes the time because like i said my friends be busy and you know sometimes you need to talk to yourself because ain't nobody know you better than you so i told myself that like we're gonna start uh trying to become that girl and like if we mess up we give ourselves that one day and then we're back on our we're back on our feet because like beyonce even said like she gives herself like a day to cry or whatever and then she gets back in at the next day and look how successful she is can't nobody argue with beyonce so that's literally what i've been doing like i have been consistently going to the gym um i have i i'm not gonna say i don't eat out but i don't eat out as much as i was before I'm also managing my money a bit better. Um, I'm spending more time with Sienna. Like before I was gonna, I was so like swamped with work that I was like, I had to be at school to be able to do work. Or like even when I was home and I was doing work, I barely played with Sienna. But now it's like, I take it to the dog park like one or two times a week. She doesn't play with the other dogs sometimes, but like it's just for us to like, we drive together like, she sits with me for a bit and then she goes to place with dogs and she comes back to me and then we drive again back home. So it's like just extra time to be with her. And I know you guys are like, you need to be, you need to spend time with your dog to be that girl. But it's just like, like I said, be, becoming that girl for me at least. Oh goodness. Oh, I thought it was. Whew. Becoming that girl for me at least is uh, becoming the best version of yourself. And for me, the best version of myself is someone that excels in all areas of my life. For me, those areas include friends, family, being a good dog mom um and then also being there for myself like what do i need you know like what what makes me feel good what makes me feel beautiful what makes me feel smart what makes me feel talented you know i'm not gonna lie with y'all with the friends like situation i'm still working on it because aside in addition to like my friends just being busy it's very much harder i don't know like you know how People are always like, how are you? And you tell them you're okay, even when they're like, shit could be hitting the fan and you're not okay. So I feel like that's what it is with my friends. Like we're all trying to be the strong friend. So it's like, you don't really know. And then you can only really tell when you're in person. I'm 900 plus miles away from my friends. So like, that is a work in progress. That is an area of myself that I give, that is an area that I give myself grace for. Like right now I'm like communicating way better. Like early in the semester, I was barely talking to anybody. I would probably, talking like the one group chat and even then barely but now it's like i talk to my friends every day it might not be the same friends but it's like you know everybody hears from me at least once a week and that's important so that everyone knows that you're alive you're doing well you care about them you miss them all that good stuff even if they don't ask for it like i feel like it's something that people really look forward to or really appreciate especially when it's like you're a good friend and you don't get to see them as much as you want to because of the distance And then also for myself, like, I've been really getting into, like, my affordable black girl luxury. Like, I'm not black girl luxury. Like, I'm a grad student. They pay us. They pay us just enough so we're not poor. But, you know, like, I like nice things. So I go on TikTok and go on YouTube and look at, like, what's popping and stuff like that. What can I get my hand on that I can actually afford That'll actually like make me feel nice and I've just been leaning into the areas of perfume and clothes so like I've been getting I and I just love the TikTok algorithm but I'm also very like algorithm algorithms in its own sense just worry me because it's like why are you watching me so hard but like everything that I've like everything that I'm like I'm going to set my mind to and use this to like become that girl it pops up on my for you page like 
I said I wanted to save more money, so I was start I started to um, do my own hair. I said I'm gonna start learning how to make wigs. Um, I'm gonna start learning how to do my lashes. All that stuff always pops up on my for you page, and I also made it to um, perfume TikTok, and it's like. Another thing I love about TikTok is that they realize that I'm a black girl and I only like black influencers. So they only put me on to like black um, girls doing their lashes or black girls making their own ways or black girl doing the perfume. It'd be the aunties too. And you, I love the aunties. So yeah. And then for my birthday, I treated myself to some fragrances. And I'm just like... And also I bought some like bundles from the beauty supply store to like get into like the making the wigs because like I'm going home and I'm going home for Christmas and New Year's that's like perfect opportunity to you know like dress up go out take pictures so why not like have a wig and I know like my locks are here and I love them but like sometimes you just want to get pretty you know give them a little razzle dazzle so yeah so I've been doing those things to kind of um kind of uh, See you guys, it looks way brighter on camera than it does in person. So I'm going to go back in with my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Tan Sand. I was using the Juvia's Place um, concealer in the shade 11. And this, I use the Juvia's on the outside because it's like two shades lighter. And then the Tan Sand on the inner corner just to brighten up that a bit. But I'm going to go back in with the Tan Sand. And I'm only going to go in just a little bit just to brighten it up. Cause we're going to a bonfire. It's my time. I need them to see, see me, see these under eyes. Okay, make them flawless. But yeah, back to what I was saying. To kind of like concise what I was saying, basically for me, what I've been doing for me to become that girl is basically feeding into hobbies, feeding into hobbies that I can give myself that I don't need anyone else for. And I'm not saying like to become that girl, you got to cut everybody off. But it's like. You're being the best version of yourself. And sometimes, in certain situations, that means finding a way to be happy by yourself, to be content by yourself, you know? And I feel like I have talked about this before in like a previous Get Ready With Me or something, but um, my love language is quality time. So like I love hanging out with people, but I feel like it has gotten to a fault because it's like, I have overlooked some people's like doing me dirty just because I'm like oh but I love spending time with them and like we've been around each other for so long and it's like girl no like some people are in your life for a season you know and you holding on to them when the season is finished is only gonna hurt you and I don't know if it's going to hurt you financially, emotionally, mentally, physically, whatever. For me, it has been financially, emotionally, mentally, like, you know? So for me, it's been all of the above. And I feel like that's another thing that I've been learning is that sometimes you just got to let go. And before when I would say let go, it would just be me, like, not texting them or whatever. And... Deleting their number, but nah, babes, I have to do way more than that because sometimes to let them go, you really got to let them go. And I'm talking, I had to remove people from my Instagram because yes, if I unfollow you, I can't see your stuff. But if you're still following me, you can see my stuff. And if you're really trying to let people go you gotta you gotta go above and beyond like you gotta get to that point where it's like you don't even care for them to see some people like i'm not gonna block you because i want you to see me growing and glowing and blah blah, blah. and it's like what do you gain from that you know what i'm saying like your growth and your success should be enough where it's like you know what's happening and you're content with it. You don't care if anybody else realizes. You don't care if you're stunting on anybody. You don't even care to stunt. You feel me? So it's like, in my head, for me, because I know how I mentally work and I know how I'm built. Like I said, this is not telling you guys how to maneuver. But I know for me, 
if I'm worrying about whether or not I'm starting on that person, I still care about that person. Or that person still has a weight on me in some some form. So once again, that was another hard conversation that I had to have. And I, I kept convincing myself like, nah, I don't really care if they watch my story. But then I sat down I'm like, I be looking at who watches my story. And I'm like, ew, why are they watching my story? Because they still follow you. Like, they are still on your page. And some people, I would like unfollow them years, you guys, years ago, like, there was this person on my Instagram that I unfollowed in 2018 because they did me dirty. And they were still watching my story to this day, 2021. I got the juice. I know. Now I'm stop. <laughs> um, but this is just to show you that some people will not let you go until you force them to let you go. And you don't got to like physically be like, hey, bro, unfollow me. Instagram did that for you, babes. You can literally go unfollow them and then Instagram will be like, do you want to remove them as a follower? Yes, yes I do. Because for me, that's when you're like completely done. When you don't even care to stunt on that person anymore. That's when like you know that it's done. Well, at least for me. Because like I said, I would unfollow some people but I wouldn't like remove them because I was like, I would want them to see that I'm happy and everything. But then it's like, are you are you truly happy or are you just like stunting on them or trying to look happy because that you're so that you can stunt on them like i said anyway but even with all of this realization for me it made me realize that this social media shit is so fake like so fake and people usually people will sometimes hit me up be like um, if I like go to the gym or like I post something and be like, oh my gosh, you're, you look so good. Like what's your routine? To I'm like, first of all, babes, this was after a really good workout. Like I go to the to go to the gym four to five times a week and you're seeing this once every like two, three weeks. Obviously, I'm not showing you the ugly days when I don't hit my PRs or the ugly days when it's like, I only worked out for 30 minutes because I wasn't feeling it. I'm not showing you all of that. You feel me? So it's like, even if you want to stunt on them, it's like, what are you really stunting for? Like, you only are showing parts of you that look happy. Like, you're not showing the parts of you that are sad or the parts of you that went through something. So it's like, it's all fake. So might as well just let them be them on their own side. I hope I'm making sense. I'm probably not making sense because this makes sense in my head. But it's always when I try to explain it to other people that it never makes sense. Trying to like tone down this brightness because I want a little too bright now that I now that I'm looking. Now let's watch Nanjari try and save her face because people definitely will be having flash and I am not trying to look scary out here. Oh, I'm also using the Wet and Wild Photo Focus setting powder in deep. This usually helps with like flashback and like making it look like put together and matte and flash proof sometimes i'm hoping another time is today like i said i can't be looking crazy out here like i barely go out when i do go out i gotta i gotta look like i have some sense but yeah aside from what i have been learning because i'm surprisingly i'm i'm going pretty quick so this might be a a short chit chat but aside from like analyzing what i have learned from my like 20 and 21 i was gonna say 20s but like i'm only 22 so i can't really say 20s i have a lot more of 20s to experience but aside from what i have learned i realized what i wanted and kind of like try to calculate how to get there and part of me is like trying to accomplish or like make strides toward those goals from now so that like when 2022 comes yeah yeah 2022 comes when 2022 comes that i won't have to be like catching up you feel me because i felt like a lot of my a lot of my 20s was like a catching up race like i would see something and be like oh my gosh it looks cute let me get it and then by the time i get it i don't want it no more 
So, or like, the time for it is gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, some things I'd be wanting because, like, I don't know. Let me give you a, like, cliche example. Let's say, like, it's, like, May, and I see this bikini, and I want to take cute summer pics. By the time I get the bikini and make the plan to go to take the pics, go take the pics, and post it, it's winter. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's just, like, a very basic explanation of what I'm trying to say. But, yeah. So, like I said, I want to be, like, more financially stable, as stable as, as financially stable as a graduate student can be. I want to take more trips. I want to see my friends more. Like, I'm tired of seeing them, like, once a year or once every other year. I'm going to go back in with some blush because... I feel like I can. I'm gonna look cheeky. Bruh. Y'all, I be drenching myself. But yeah, I wanna read more. I wanna just like. For me to become the best version of myself, I want to be multifaceted in all areas. So like, like I said, I want to get to like doing stuff myself. I feel like the only thing that I should, should be paying for next year when it comes to like cosmetics wise is like my waxes and my nails. And I don't even know because I've been waxing myself lately, like my armpits, my legs, my stomach. I've been waxing those myself and those have been pretty good. So I might venture to the he who shall not be named she who shall not be named i might venture down there and like just like do it as a, because it's like those girlies for me when i think about it it's like those girlies didn't know how to do it they learned how to do it and then now they're making a profit profit off of it so it's like why can't i do that too you know just move smarter yeah that's what kind of what i want to say and i already got some trips in mind you guys like for conferences and stuff like that also like part of it of course, how could I forget this? Part of it is becoming, like, a really good grad student. Like, I got conferences in mind that I'm planning on. Um, I got publications in mind that I'm planning on. Like, I feel like 2022 is going to be, like, such a beautiful year. And not just with, like, I don't know how I want to put this on. Not just with, like, success and things, but just with growth. Because, like I said, 2020, 2020 and 2021 were just shit years. <laughs> like they were so draining and so annoying like i would be putting out my best foot forward and shit would just hit the fan like for no reason like and i would just i've had so many conversations where I'm like god do you hate me but it's like nah i've realized that a lot of times like there's a song i think her name is jacqueline carr i can't remember but it's in the song she's basically like you gotta press the grape to get the oil or something like that press the seed to get basically it's like how they say diamonds are made under pressure like i feel like this was my pressure years and i'm mad that it took took me so long and then next year will be my diamond year you feel me and it'll just keep going up and no i'm not gonna no i'm not saying that 2022 will have no downfalls there's no such thing you know like sometimes life will hit you and i'm i'm learning to accept that and um learn from it instead of being so mad and just be like why is this happening to me but like instead of saying why is this happening to me i'm starting to say what am i supposed to be learning that i'm not learning and which is why i keep repeating these l's you know because i feel like the reason why some people going through extended periods of l's is because they need to learn something that they're not learning and they need to learn it so that they can level up to where they need to be you know and then some people they just give up and it's like you if you ever seen like those games that are like advertised to you there's always this there's this one game that pops up every time i go on um this is this is app that i play and it always advertises other game apps but this is guy that's like mining mining trying to get out and then he gives up right before like He's supposed to mine to get to the exit. And I feel like that's how it is with life. Like you're going to keep pushing. You're going to keep mining. And you shouldn't give up because you never know what's the next step. Especially if you really want something. There really shouldn't be anything that's going to stop. Like nothing should be stopping you from achieving what you want. And I feel like that's part of why I want to learn discipline for this coming year. Because... For me, these past two years, when the going got tough, Nandria got going. Like, I would be out, bruh. I would be so out. 
but now it's like i'm excited i'm excited to see what trials and tribulations i'm not even capping to y'all i'm excited to see what trials and tribulations come up i'm excited to see what great things come up i'm excited i'm just overall excited and it's like some areas of my life are still shit i am not going to hold you some of them are very much shit but it's like i have been learning so much about myself that i'm i'm one i'm debating whether or not i should like go in with eyeshadow nah we're just gonna keep it simple it's seven right now so i'm gonna stop um I'm gonna also give myself some little beauty marks. I always put the beauty marks on top of like any pimples or anything that I have. And that's another thing, y'all. My skincare routine has been busting. Like this, these little pimples are only here because I just got off my period. But other than that, like these, my skincare have been busting. Like I've been outside, like shining, glowing. People stopping me, like, "Girl, you look so happy." Like, "Yes, girl." Thank you. I've been trying. And sometimes it's okay if it like messes up because you know, no one's perfect. And I have this beauty mark under my eyebrow that I always cover up and I'm always like, should I put it back? I ain't gonna put it back. But yes, back to what I was saying. Like I'm super excited for the upcoming year, especially because I know how people are always like, I'm going to wait till the next year to start it, but then never start their goals. Like, I have already started my goals for 2022. So I know that by the time 2022 comes around, I would already have the momentum building so that it's only going up from here. And I'm just like, so excited. Hmm. Should I just leave it like that? That's kind of cute. Or should I just get a matte lipstick? Because I have a matte lipstick that's kind of like, my inner lip color huh and then also will make it easier when like my lip liner just goes away because i don't have to reapply lip liner and lip gloss i could just apply lip liner y'all see how this one got extra long since i did that these babies be fooling me because i'm over here thinking like my hair is up to here and then look how long it is like and this is with it like retwisted at the root. So it's not like extra new growth is coming out. But where's my little thingy? I hope this they don't kick out like this. I'm going to be sad. There we go. Put that there. And I'm just going to comb. I said comb. I'm going to brush this out. And I'm going to spray one more time. I actually got in my nose. Whew. And I did it again. I'm just trying to get like this area here. Because like around my mouth is the place that always creases. And I, I don't know what it is. Low key, I'm not trying to figure it out. I'll probably watch a YouTube video somewhere. Not today though. Um... But yeah, so I'm going to quickly go get dressed and then I will be back. Okay guys, this is the final look. I added some lip gloss because the matte look was just giving me a little basic. And then I just have on my Black Woman Matter shirt from um, Goddess Dope. Paired it with these cargo pants and then my white Nikes, Nike sneakers. Um yeah i added some gold jewelry added this ring this bracelet these two necklaces and let my hair down like your girl is ready you feel me and also my perfume of the night will be um victor and ralph bonbon bon. i literally just got that that was one of the fragrances i got for my birthday and you guys it kind of um ever since high school like my go-to fragrance was the juicy couture <sighs> i can't remember the name of it but that has been like my go-to fragrance since high school like that was like my only upscale like high-end fragrance and this scent by victor and victor and rolf literally reminded me of that but just with like a hint of sweetness to it so that's like 
it just grabbed my attention i love it on me it just smells amazing so yes i'm not gonna put on a purse because like i said it's a bonfire super casual and plus these pants have like pockets and i love a minimalistic look where i don't have to like carry a bag and stuff like that so i have enough pockets for my phone my lip gloss my keys and my wallet so yeah um if you made it this far drop down in the comments how you are planning to become that girl or that boy for 2022 thank you guys so much for watching hit that like button and i'll see you in the next video